Hey guys, it's Justin Tech and welcome to my Hugo review. Now, why do they call it a Hugo? Because I can Hugo here, or here, or here, or here. Hey, or here, or here, or here. I'm super pumped about it because they added a Bluetooth functionality to it, which is making it probably the most versatile smart light ever. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. So are you guys ready for me to light up your lives? Well, before I do that, why don't you guys subscribe right down there, click the bell for alerts, and if you can give me a like for that whole algorithm thing, that really helped me out. But don't Hugo anywhere. I've only just begun. Here it goes. <laughs> This is the second Hugo coming from Philips Hue, and it is packing a much bigger punch than its predecessor for a few reasons. First, it's battery. The original Hugo only got about three hours of battery life, but guess what? This one's gonna give you up to 18 hours of battery life, seriously. But some colors and brightnesses will drain your battery faster, and there's a handy list right on the box that tells you exactly how long it will last on that setting. The Hugo takes about two hours to charge, and of course you can leave it plugged in and it will never die on you. So you can also Hugo nowhere and use it around the home. The other upgrade is its Bluetooth functionality. So now you can control the Hugo anywhere using the Bluetooth app. Before you could only adjust lighting with its single button, but now you've got the app which is easy for anyone to pick up and understand. And of course you can use it at home, connected to your bridge, and you can control it through your phone on that. Philips has moved where the plug goes in on the Hugo to a new spot. A lot of people were really unhappy with the last position because it was difficult to prop the Hugo up. So we're good now. Thanks for listening, Philips. When unplugged, the Hugo will only reach a certain amount of brightness, and when plugged in, it will reach its full capacity. You can control the light manually in a couple ways. First, you can do a short single press and it will siphon between a bunch of presets. You can also double press and hold, and it will siphon through just colors. To conserve on battery, you can place the Hugo in standby mode, meaning you turn it off via the app or press the button for two seconds, but it will only last for 12 hours. Power will be draining because it's ready to turn on at your command. If you don't think you'll be using it for a while, I recommend putting it in battery saving mode. In this state, it won't react to the app. You'll need to manually turn it back on. I found some really cool ways to use this thing. You could light up a car. Why? I don't know, but it's cool. You can light up your tent when going camping, light up your hotel room on a vacation, or light up the fort you built in your living room. So here's what I think. I love the Hugo. It is the perfect traveling companion and you can take it on vacations with friends and family and surprise them with a little bit of color. I'd say the downsides are definitely price. It is expensive, it's $80, but the way I like to think of it is a Philips Hue bulb is 50 bucks, and with that one, yeah, now they have Bluetooth and you can take them everywhere, but you still need a socket to put them in. With the Hugo, you're paying an extra 30 bucks for a versatile light that you can place and prop in lots of cool ways, and you don't need a socket to plug it into. You're not gonna get it as bright when it's unplugged, but this is something I'll make do with because I want that longer battery life. So what do you guys think about the Hugo? Are you gonna get one? Also, if you get one, how are you gonna use it? Tell me all those cool ideas in the comments below. I wanna hear them because I probably wanna try it out myself. That's all I've got for you guys today. Make sure to subscribe right down there, click the bell for alerts, and again, if you wanna give me a like for that algorithm, love that for you, for me, for you. I'm definitely gonna have more Hue videos coming your way soon. They have a bunch of outdoor lights coming out and I have to get my hands on those. And the second I do, you will know about it. I'm Justin and I'll tech you later. Just phone. Hi!